I'm Tim Biber with The Final Solution, and this is Lick of the Month number one. <laughs> All right, before I start, I'm using a seven string guitar tuned down a half step, but I'm not using the seventh string for this lick, so that's not an issue. Okay, uh, this is a result of just finding an interesting way to practice. I didn't want it to sound just like running the same technique up and down. I still do that, but i just trying to break it up a little bit and help me come up with new licks and ideas. Uh, I was just looking for different ways to make arpeggio transitions. And I went through and researched it and looked up some different things. Found some people that uh, I stole it from, I guess. And I just pieced them all together so it still sounds like a piece of music, but I'm still practicing as much as I can in the shortest amount of time. So I'm starting on A flat on the 12th fret and it's just a five string sweep, but I'm ending it on E. I'm not finishing it on A. I'm ending it on B flat because the next arpeggio in the progression is B flat minor. So I wanted, I didn't just want to go, which I guess I just want to do later, but, uh, just make it as smooth and fluid as possible for this one. I'm totally skipping A. I'm gonna go straight to B flat. So that makes it kind of like the last ascending note of A minor is the first descending note of B minor. That's all that is. Then I. So from, there's a, I think of it as a B-flat Locrian run. It's not the whole scale or anything, but it's just the pattern I can remember it as. Um, which, I just did it to break it up so that there wasn't just all arpeggios the whole way down. Um, it helps me divide this into chunks. And it's, more I've looked at it, the more important it is. So here it is. <laughs> Very simple. It ends on B, so it brings pulls your ear to major. But the next arpeggio is going to be B flat major. So I'm starting the major arpeggio a half step lower than what you hear as the major key. So it gives a little bit of tension. It's I technically haven't broken it down as much as I need to to tell you how much what that is actually um, and if anybody knows go ahead and let me know that'll save me some work okay so I'm going for B flat the next one is going to be B major same position or not same position same shape uh, this shape just to point it out make sure if you're new to sweeping again roll your middle finger so the notes don't bleed out. Um, I know name dropping is bullshit but I'm doing it anyways. Rusty Cooley uses this all the time so I had to put it in here and I'll just play a little clip because I'm trying to still figure out how to explain it. So I guess it's taking the last hammer on a pull off part and shifting it up to the next position, doing it, and then playing the arpeggio. That's all I'm doing for the rest of this leg. So I'm just taking that hammer off position and moving it up a half step and then descending B major. Okay, and then in my mind, that's the second half, or the second chunk, I have to think of it to stop there. Because it goes into C sharp major and then to E flat major. Minor. But it's... 
I don't do anything, any cool transitions on the low side. So that's kind of, it just helps me keep it separate. <laughs> Same skip hammer on transition. So uh, it's just goes from C sharp to E flat, and um, that's that's it. the The last minor arpeggio is the same shape as the first one. So just roll your ring finger. So that's it. I'll play it again slow and fast for you. Um, listen and watch how the transitions smooth it out or help a little bit um, and listen to that run and how it changes that first arpeggio a little bit. Lick of the month number one. Uh, check out my band, The Final Solution, on Facebook at The Final Solution Ohio. Um, look next month for another lick. I hope you got something from it. Go ahead and post videos of you playing it. Uh, maybe when you actually get a big enough where we can put some prizes on here, I'll do that for the best video. And um, I'll see you next time.